People who have been exposed to toxic mold can become sensitized in such a way that they react to a variety of different agents in their food and environment, as if they are allergic to them. It may take only a very minute exposure to trigger a major recurrence of symptoms. So you must take steps to make your environment as mold-free as humanly possible, so that you're not breathing fungi or eating fungi. There are several types of food that should be avoided if you are mold-sensitive because they are subject to mold contamination. In their book, the Billings include a list of the top 10 mycotoxic foods, compiled by David Holland Maryland and Doug Kaufman. As you can see, many of those top 10 foods are grains. 1. Alcoholic beverages. Alcohol is the mycotoxin of Saccharomyces yeast, brewer's yeast, and often contains other mycotoxins from mold containing fruits and grains. 2. Wheat and all wheat products. 3. Rye. 4. Peanuts, often contaminated with dozens of mold types, one of which is cancer-causing aflatoxin. 5. Cotton seed and cotton seed oil. 6. Corn, universally contaminated with a variety of fungal toxins. 7. Barley. 8. Sorghum, used in a variety of grain products and alcoholic beverages. 9. Sugar from sugar cane and sugar beets. 10. Hard cheeses. Regarding peanuts, a 1993 study reportedly identified 24 different types of fungi just on the outside of the peanuts in their sample, and these peanuts had already been sterilized. One of the mycotoxins frequently found on peanuts is aflatoxin-3, which is a known human carcinogen. In terms of hard cheeses, cheeses like Gouda are made with yogurt-type cultures such as lactobacillus, rather than fungi, so these are a better alternative. There are often fungal components used in food manufacturing that are not necessarily listed on the label. Take soy sauce, for example. Authentic soy sauce is fermented by a fungus, which is what gives soy sauce its distinctive flavor. If your immune system is overly reactive and sensitized, something like this can trigger a recurrence of illness as your body interprets it as a foreign invader, and you jump back into the symptom-producing antigen-antibody cycle. The Billings wrote that they also reacted adversely to vinegar, beans and canned tomato products. Basically, the closer you stick to a basic diet of fresh organic vegetables, lean organic meats, and fresh, pure water while recovering, the less risk you'll have of additional mold exposure and reactions. It's wise to avoid eating out because you just can't control what is put into your food unless you prepare it yourself. You have to go beyond being a good label reader and become a food detective. You may want to do some vegetable juicing to accelerate your healing. Juicing helps alkalize your body, and for the most part, fungi can't grow in an alkaline environment. Juices assimilate very quickly into your system with very little effort or energy by your digestive tract, like an intravenous infusion of whole food nutrition. Juices should be consumed immediately after being juiced, within 15 minutes is best, as the enzymes degrade rapidly thereafter. Mold's Worst Nightmare Probably the most important supplement for recovering from mold-induced illness is a good probiotic. Your gastrointestinal tract is your first line of defense against mold and its toxins, and having a GI tract populated with beneficial flora is crucial for optimal immune function. Probiotics help repopulate your GI tract with these beneficial bacteria. The good bacteria help keep the bad bacteria, and other organisms like mold and yeast, in check. This is why antibiotics are so counterproductive if you have a fungal infection. Without the proper microflora, fungi and their toxins can break through the walls of your intestinal tract and enter your bloodstream. When your bowel is toxic, the rest of your body soon follows. Sensing this toxicity, your immune system reacts with a vengeance, trying desperately to overcome this perceived assault, which results in systemic inflammation. And when your blood is full of toxins, your organs responsible for cleansing it, liver, kidneys, skin, lymph, become overloaded and multi-system health problems can occur, which is what many people experience after mold poisoning. Your immune system produces antibodies to the mold, the antigen. If your overload is severe enough, you can experience serum sickness, which can appear as a severe, unrelenting flu-like syndrome. The worst cases can take years to resolve unless aggressive action is taken. 
it is important to remember that the catalyst for the entire illness is disruption of healthy intestinal flora. This is why paying careful attention to your GI health is so vitally important, and a high-quality probiotic is helpful beyond measure. I just can't emphasize this enough. The Billings Magic 4 In their quest for effective interventions, the Billings sought the advice of a number of healthcare providers from different backgrounds, and had a number of false starts, trying therapies that didn't end up working. If you are interested in the specifics of those, you can read their book, but there are far too many to include here. They eventually found the following Magic 4, and credited these for advancing their recovery. Garlic Garlic is a potent antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, immune system stimulant, and detoxification agent. Garlic also helps clean out the respiratory tract. The best form is raw, whole garlic, rather than a supplement derived from garlic, as it is the synergism of the whole food that makes it so clinically active. Eat the cloves whole, or run them through your juicer alongside your veggies. Ginger Ginger is also an antifungal and antibacterial. It helps dislodge congestion in your respiratory tract, and is also a great digestive aid. Ginger also makes a great addition to fresh juice. Cayenne Cayenne is a catalyst for the other herbs. Golden Seal Golden Seal, with its active ingredient berberine, has antibacterial and immune-enhancing properties. However, it should not be used for long periods of time. Another herb they found therapeutic is yarrow, which they used topically by infusing it into their bath water for relief from rashes, hives, and other skin irritations.